sometimes I want to use my Bluetooth headset in my DAW. Um, so why am I calling it a headset instead of headphones? Well, commonly Bluetooth devices such as these ones, the AirPods Pro, have a built-in microphone that makes them a headset and not headphones. Why would it matter that it has a microphone? It shouldn't, but it does, at least if you're in Reaper and if you're in Mac OS. The thing is that Reaper will default to the worst capabilities of the device you're using. So even though these AirPods are fully capable of outputting, say, 48K, they're only capable of inputting 8K, and that will set your entire project to 8K, and that will make output sound horrible. So even if you're just using them for output, for instance, to check a mix or just work on, on a mix, they will default to something that sounds like an old telephone. But it can be fixed. I'm going to show you how. Let's start by listening to what it sounds like if you just use your Bluetooth headset without any changes. Like I said, pretty much like an old phone. So is there any way of confirming that this is what's causing your problems? Well, you could open up an instance of ReQ. And in that, you can see there's a magic uh, low pass or shelf sitting around 10K. So this means that Reaper has blocked anything over 10K because it considers that my Bluetooth headset can't handle anything over 10K. All right, so how do we get rid of this? So what we need to do is to decouple the output part of the AirPods from the input part. And we can do that by creating a compound audio device in macOS. We open Preferences, and then we go to Audio Device, and then Audio MIDI Setup. So this will open the system dialog for changing uh, settings for audio devices. So what we're going to do now is create a new audio device that we can use in Reaper. You do that by clicking on the plus, and then an aggregate device. We're going to select the output part of the AirPods. Um, these columns are a little bit hard to read, but this one is supposed to say output. So where there's a number, these are two channels that are available for output. We select the AirPods Pro. And for input, we're going to select something else. We're going to select something that handles um, the frequencies better, that has a better capability, and that can actually be your built-in microphone. So we'll select that for input. Finally, we're going to name it something that we can recognize. Let's say DAW AirPods. We go back into Reaper. We reopen the preferences. And now we can select our new aggregate device. And with this enabled, playback suddenly sounds as it should. Wrapping up, this is how you can use your Bluetooth headset in your DAW without problems. What I can't help you with is latency. Um, there's no fix for a Bluetooth actually having a horrible latency. So you can't use your headphones when tracking or um, doing any kind of real-time inputs. But at least you can use it to listen to your mixes and work if you're on the go. And hey, don't forget to press the subscribe button if you haven't already. Happy home studioing and see you next time.